In today's video, I'll be showing you guys a six-star Kuma and telling you guys if he's worth it or not. And make sure you guys stick around for the video. All right, let's get right to the intro. All right, so um, right now, Kuma is going to level one, and let's look at his type. So he is a defense unit that does damage reflection and stun so right now he's gonna be level one and i'm gonna put him to level 100 all right let's do it right now quick level up to level 30 unlock a second skills level 40 um all right and then level 50 unlock his third skill level 60 all right and then level 80 his last skills right there and then level 100 all right um so right now he is level 100 and let's go to his first skill so his first skill is attack a single front target and deal 147 percent damage grant a shield with 80 percent of attack hp last one turn so um for his first skill he does a single target attack and um he does do 147 percent damage not that much because he is a defense unit so and but then um he also grants himself shield which isn't that much since it's gonna be really low based on his um um his attack and not his hp so this shield will be like be pretty weak so his first skill is probably towards the bad side not the good side so um let's look at his his passive skill um his passive skill is 30 percent more hp 50 percent more defense and 50 percent more damage reduction all right um so not bad for passive skills okay right, so now let's look at his third skill so for his third skill he does attack front and middle targets and deal 85 percent damage 30 percent chance to stun targets in last one turn so this one um he does a aoe but not to everybody only to the front and middle targets and he deals quite less damage not good damage um and but then he also has a 30 percent chance to stun targets last one turn so his his um his third skill is lackluster not that good and then for his fourth skill um is when being attacked reflect um with 20 percent of damage taken reflected damage won't see 10 percent max hp so his skills overall are all lackluster they're not all good they're all more towards the bad side and now look at his defense i mean his hockey so for his hockey you want to go to survival and i would say good um some good hockeys for kuma it will be the defense um plus the defense the the shield you know the damage reduction and taunt is pretty good too so yeah and those are all pretty good for kuma uh now for his um for his gears we'll do this and then for his runes, um, good runes to put on him, I would say is all right. So now let's put my team, put Jose out there, put in Kuma. All right. So now I am weaker. Um, he is very slow too, since he's not as high as them. So he will be the slowest. I'm gonna test him on the clan instance. So. I'm gonna put Joe's I'm gonna put Joe's out, put Kuma in, and hopefully I don't die. So let's get right to it. So right now he is um the slowest of my team, so um he will go last and let's wait until his first go and uh, right here. This is first go right there. So around 1.7k damage. Um he is very low. Level one and six star, so the rest are all level 165 and seven star and above. So his damage um, is like lesser two. And then right here, this is a third skill. So he does a paw attack and he did 2.3k damage, which is not a lot. So um overall right now i think he is a bad unit not that good and you guys probably 
should not use him since he's not that good. Probably one of the worst defense units in the game. So yeah, don't waste your time on him. Choose a better um like a defense unit like um Jozu or Marco or Sengoku. Alright, I'm done the video, um, doing the match, so now, that'd be it for the video, hope you guys enjoy, um, and make sure you guys subscribe if you like, see you next time, bye bye